Good morning, family. How you doing? Today is doctor day. Malik has appointment today. Diabetes appointment. And then Sean has a health pro, a health um appointment later. So now we taking Sean to the doctor. Sean. <laughs> Sean must be on my mind. He must be talking about his mama. We taking Malik to um the diabetes appointment. So. Hey family, good morning to you. Hope you all having a wonderful, wonderful, great day. We're gonna let Malik say something because today is the doctor's appointment. How do you feel about going to get a good checkup? Hopefully you have a good checkup. What do you feel about that, son? Mm -hmm. Now, right? Huh? I don't know what this is about, though. Well, it's like when you go to the doctor and they check you all over. Just wanna make sure that you're staying in good health. You're about to go to high school. So they wanna make sure that you're okay before you go to high school. That's so, right. Okay. Now you understand? Okay. What do you mean you know this about? You know you go to your uh, diabetes appointment like every three months. I know that, but sometimes they change some of the stuff, like, like, like what? Like blood testing and stuff. Well, they gotta check to make sure that your levels and stuff is um correct and stuff in case they might have to do some adjustments to your insulin. You know that. Last time it took eight hours away from me. Well, you know you didn't eat and you got got something in case they take it, um take your blood. You got some um. Something to bring your um, blood sugar up, so, you know. You've been diagnosed since you was four. You're 14. I'm sure you should be used to it by now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He gets this way every time he got to go to the diabetes doctor. <sighs> okay, family. I'm about to check in. I'll be right back. Is, this, is it um did it change i looked this, you know why would it change um, every time i come to be some new um receptionist here only person that's still the same is um the lady that's down here mm -hmm. we're down at the other end down there she is young girl right here and every time she came last time, um, they had the wrong uh, phone number. You know what I mean? Then they had a living um, Dexter. And they, they were babies when we lived there. Yeah. And we all said, family, we're just waiting for me to get a call back to see, you know, he checked in. You know, how y'all day going? Puff is going good. Um, family, uh, today we supposed to have a, a temperature today of just 87. So, we're going to see how that go. I'm still waiting for the rest of my um, test results to come back. Um, I got like, from my understanding, I got like two more that they're waiting to come back. Um, my own primary and my surgeon, they both have to communicate, you know, um, on a plan on what they want to do. So, you know, just waiting for that update. You got anything to add? Yes, I do. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't have my eyes closed. But, uh, yes, um, you know, we're, we're definitely uh, staying prayed up so that everything goes well. 
um, you know, as soon as those results come in, those results, no matter what they say, um, you know, we're going to step to the plate and uh, make sure what happens, you know, concerning, you know, her doctor's orders. But uh, she seems to be in help right now, but, you know, looks can be deceiving all the time. You know, like she may look well on camera, but she never knows what's going on. Anybody that goes for any of you, you know, not just her, you all as well in family land. <laughs> so, you know, you know, um, you know, looks can be deceiving. That's why it's necessary to uh, have those constant checkups. You know, um, I'm due to go back myself. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah, it's uh, it's necessary. It's one of those times things where it's necessary. No matter who you are or what you do, it's necessary. You know, so keep us keep us prayed up. We'll, we'll be praying for you as well. And that is right. That is definitely right. We always got you family in our prayers. Um. I haven't spoke on the the results that we did get back, you know what I mean? I haven't spoke on what they say. You know, um I don't wanna, you know, say too much but um I was gonna elaborate what they're saying, you know, possibly is a problem. You know, when you think about me letting the family know what they possibly saying they probably me. Do you want to elaborate on that? You should, have, you should have, go ahead. Do you want me to elaborate on it or go you want to say it? Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. I got the um, results uh, back for some of the tests. And they're saying, you know, we've been focusing on, you know, my blood being low because I didn't have multiple uh, transfusions. From one test, they're saying that something possibly could be wrong with my heart. Now, um, a couple years ago, they found out I had a heart murmur. My father had a heart murmur, and they're trying to say it's genetic. And um, my my father's heart murmur also contributed to his passing. So they're trying to say that something possibly is wrong with my heart. And that's why, you know, the tiredness and all that energy level is not up to par. Right? Yeah, that is correct. Um, it was a medical term that I heard, you know, weren't familiar with, <laughs> so we Googled it, um, and the, 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 the prognosis of what she told you, that's exactly what it was. So, but there's a few other tests that's yet to come yet. I guess well, once those do come in, we're going to find out what needs to be done after that. So, um, that's right now, we're just waiting patiently and, you know, waiting on God as well. You know, Amen. You know, him first, but uh, it's, and then, uh, you know, because he's going to work through the hands of the all, all the doctors. But yes, and um, other than that, family, you know, uh, this is our this is our life. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we hope that you're having a very blessed day. You know, my, my wife said earlier that it's 87 degrees here. You know, I mean, it's not bad for this time of the year with us. Mm-hmm. You know, um, very pleasant weather. In the last couple of days, we've been in the mid 80s. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm I'm loving it personally. <laughs> <laughs> So I can't complain about that weather, you know. Mm-mm. You know, it's my, my more uh, more shine for this head, family. He a mess. <laughs> he hear him more shine for his head. <laughs> he getting, he definitely getting that vitamin D I'm on that getting, head, I'm ain't you? Getting vitamin D, family. You know. <laughs> <laughs> he about to go back um to get it um. um are you going back what next week? Uh, yeah, I think it's next week and a half. Yeah, yeah. next week and a half he's going to get it done again. And every time he said he won't go back and get it done, the boys get like uncomfortable. Like, Dad, you gonna do that again? Well, they should be used to it. I'm about to say they should just be used to it by now. Are you used to enjoying your dad having a um having a um shave head? Are you used to it, or are you not used to it yet? No, I think I think if I grew some hair back, I think hey, I think if I grew some hair back, like, Dad, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I agree because they ain't got so used to seeing yeah. him without it. So you got some black on top of your head. Uh-uh, see. He's clowning. Mm-mm. I'm, I'm trying to. Um, I had limited hours of sleep last night, family. So, so um, sometimes I get a little gooey when I pack little mm-hmm. sleep. So I'm just enjoying the moment right now. Actually, I didn't sleep at all. So you know, you know. I'm going to all put it on God today, keeping me through this day to day. But if I'm waiting for Malik to get called back, and if I can vlog some of his appointments, because then I'm not free to vlog in here. But if I can get a little bit, I'll try to turn the camera back on. If not, we will see you when we leave. Okay, family? Okay. Be back soon. All right, family, we're back. Um, 
Some dumb shit was kind of high. I don't know why. But we gave him insulin, so it shouldn't have been the high. It's free something. So we got to figure out why it's high. So, we'll be back for a minute. Hello. Hi, guys. It's been a while since I've seen him. Do you want a band aid? <laughs> Are you sure? Why are you looking sure. at me? You don't want to be in a band aid? <laughs> 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 I can get you one. I know. You want you bleeding all over the place? <laughs> no. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Sir, you are very welcome. <laughs> How's everything going? Fine. Fine. What's new? I'm going to high school. Uh huh. <laughs> Where? Start. Start. Cool. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Are you excited? Yeah. Nervous? What's the first day? Little. Little. I'm May sixteenth. That's right. Ooh, that's that's yeah. a Friday. Mm-hmm. I know because we start on the 14th. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? That's a Wednesday. I'm just randomly know all the days of the week of every day. <laughs> that seems silly to me why they start on a Friday. What do you do in the summer? Anything fun? I think it is weird because, you know, some of the fact that um, we found out that they're going to start on the 16th. They're going to get their schedule right now. They're freshmen. They're going to get their schedule and they start school the same day. It's probably not a real day. It's probably just a day to get their schedule. They don't get... <laughs> uh, we thought the same <laughs> thing that we called, and they said they don't get out until 2.45. Oh, man. What are they going to do with you all day? They don't get, like, the day before, or, like... I mean, that's how we used to do. Yeah. We go, yeah. well, that's what we thought. We exactly. thought it was weird, and so um, we got <laughs> so the paperwork, strange. and they said that they start school and pick up the schedule the same day. I said, okay. That should be fun. should be a fun first day. <laughs> so, can, we, can you get his schedule early? Like, they won't let us. That would be nice. I said so we've tried, tried already. <laughs> if when we send in this new school plan, if we start a pump, if you have to take his school plan into the school, I am. We want to know where he's at while he's. That's exactly I'm what I'm thinking. I'm hoping. So I'm, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Mm mm. And that's his concern and everything because, you know, he about to start the pump, and, you know, new school, mm-hmm. you know, and There's then new nerfs, new everything. Absolutely. Lots of changes. You'll be fine. If you <laughs> know. I know. I, know. I don't know if it will help. Sorry, I threw a mint in my mouth. <laughs> make me. If you need a letter from me mm-hmm. when you take that school plan saying, like, hey, if he can get a schedule early because mm-hmm. stress can increase blood sugar levels, good stuff, I'll write whatever you need. So that he he going to take that today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That, we'll try yes. to get your schedule early for you. See, I'm not going to make you a school plan until tomorrow, though. Okay. Because we don't know what it is until tomorrow. Wait. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. But that way, we'll see what we can do for you and see if we can get some stuff going. Because that's crazy. Yeah, we thought Bananas. Bananas. Mm-hmm. See, we ain't the only ones who thought that that was weird. That yeah. you got to get the schedule <laughs> and go to school the same day. Right. Yeah. It sounds like that... Wouldn't be good for them either. Though. I don't like, think it's it, it, chaos. Can you, can you, I thought the same can you, thing. Can you imagine everyone with their schedule. Where are, are we going? Where are we going? Yes. Yes. You'll be Couple on here, yeah. I did just in the last couple days. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anything different that you noticed that happened then? Like, did you eat something different, or were you more active? Or I would go with the active. I would say the same. Okay. Yeah, he moves around more, quite more frequently these days. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. That's good. So one of the cool parts when you start on the pump is that we can kind of take what you're getting for insulin. And if we know that you kind of always go low with certain activities, then we can do like a temporary rate and reduce it for them. So then you won't go low then. Cool, right? See, that's good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you excited for tomorrow? Oh, yeah. He's like, what the hell is we'll happening tomorrow? tomorrow? <laughs> okay, I do the same thing. I'm, I'm with you. I live day by day. I don't know what's going on tomorrow. I'm with you. I'm with you. And I only know because I just talked to Chad yesterday. He stopped by. Cool. Otherwise, I'd be like, tomorrow? What are you, what you talking about? Tomorrow, Because I would have forgot. I'm sure Chad told me before, but I just, I'm like, yep, come in. <laughs> Did we send him Biles? Oh, probably not. No. No, that's just yeah. great thought. Great thought. Thank you.
Uh, ladies, I, I want to bring something to your attention. Um, sure. Now, when he was, of course, you know, he switched. Before he was taking his receiver, he was taking Levomir. And what was another one? What was the other one before that one? It was a, it was a third medicine. Basaglar or Atlantis? Ba- Basal- Basaglar. Yeah. Basaglar, yes. mm-hmm. Okay, now, um, I think that the receiver is definitely working for him. You know, of course, he has those lows, but, you know, those, those can, of course, be corrected. Yeah. yeah. But, um, that he were um, something we brought to his doctor, his previous doctor, Doctor Watkins' attention. Okay. Because some a lot of mornings before when he switched to the um, the receiver, he, were, he was waking up soiled some morning, some mornings. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, we asked Doctor Watkins to test him, and he did not do so. Mm-hmm. Um, I and my wife both asked him to test him. You know, you know, just to make sure it was nothing internal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So um, we wanted to bring. I mean, I mean, every now and then it happens. Not so every so often, but it doesn't mm-hmm. happen that much. Okay. Because okay, she was, we'll say, let's Working. just say it's doing this thing. Okay? Yeah. Okay, we, but um, we like that. But uh, yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> but but for um, just, just to be you know, cor- you know, correctively positive about it, is it something we can possibly check and make sure that it's not something internal? You know, because like, he complains. He, he complains himself. He said his kidneys hurt. Yes. Oh. Where where's it hurt? Front? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. No, um, but it's now the okay. now this now the soil though soil though is happening less you know, since the receiver. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's, but it still happens. Yeah. But it just happens like you no. Know, it happens just less often. It's, yeah, mm-hmm. it's like it's a, but more than you'd like it's, it's, to. It's, yeah, more, <laughs> yeah. more like it's like it's gained some sort of control. Okay. But mm-hmm. you know, there's still that issue we want to make sure there's nothing there. Nothing else. Going okay. On. Hmm. It's just first thing when you wake up. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Never notice any blood. You don't see no blood in your urine? Doesn't look pink or red or anything. You would, I mean, you would know it, but mm-hmm. no. Um, ever difficult to start a stream? It's mm-hmm. like, you have, like you have to stay in there for a second and really think about it before you start peeing. Sometimes. Mm. Um, it sounds like a urinary tract infection. Mm-hmm. I would take him to his PCP. PCP. And okay. start with like a urine, um, a urinalysis and culture. So a lot of times they'll send it off to the lab to be read, and then they'll reflex it to a culture where they actually put a little bit of it on one of those plates and see mm-hmm. in an incubator grow what they need to. Okay. And then see, if it does grow something, grows. then they put antibiotic discs on it to see what kills that the best. Okay. So okay. then you know that like you're for sure on the right thing at okay. the right okay. time. So I would go that route. Okay. Um, kidneys, if your kidneys, kidneys hurt, it's up in your back. It's up here. That's when your kidneys hurt. So it could be a bladder thing. Mm-hmm. Um, hip pain if your hip actually hurts. The joint of your hip hurt it actually hurts in the front here. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people think when they have hip pain, it's your hip. It's actually your back that hurts then. Okay. So could be a couple different things, but especially with some of those symptoms, I would for sure try like a urinary tract. So I take mm-hmm. it to his PCP and start with that. Okay. Any fevers? No. Okay. Nausea, vomiting? No. Okay. Okay. Good. Hmm. Okay, family, I sneak and got a lot of footage for you guys. So, you know, um, they about to get the paperwork, you know, ready because he about to start on a um, pump tomorrow. And we got to get the um, paperwork for the new nurse at high school and for the um, the school order. He has to have a school plan on um, being a diabetic. So, um, when we leave, I'll put you back on, family. <laughs> okay family we are finally leaving you know um as you heard um in malik's appointment tomorrow um, malik is going to start on his diabetic um dexcom pump so he's going to be starting high school and he's going to be starting on the pump so tomorrow we have pump training um I think it's like about two hours so we got to be here tomorrow for his pump training he's excited i know it's going to be a new adventure for him we're excited for him you know um so hopefully this will help control his um his numbers you know what i mean because he have some highs and lows so we're hoping with this um pump that you know he'll have more regular you know normal you know blood sugar readings right that is correct family uh seems like he's pretty excited about it but he also said it was a learning curve, so that's what the two hours were for. We really had to make sure we um, understand uh, the basics and the, and the, and the 
fanatics about, you know, the ins and outs of the pump. So, Mom and Dad, we're definitely going to be going hardcore with the training tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, we are. We're going to have our pen, notebooks, like we always do. You know, it's like, you know, when he first got diagnosed when he was four, you know, they told us he could not leave the hospital until uh, we, you know, knew what we were doing. So me and husband, we had to, you know, really buckle down and listen and everything to what was going on. So because this was our child, he was four, you know, and we had to take care of him for the rest of our life, you know. So we had to learn how to, you know, administer the shots. We had to administer shots on each other. Ain't that right? That's correct. I remember that. You remember that, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we had to give each other a shot of water. Was it yeah, water? it was, it was water. water. Water, yes. Yep, so we both had to learn how to give shots because we had to learn how to give it to him. So he's 14 now, so we've been doing it, you know, all these years, so now it's time for him to get the, you know, get the, um, get the pump now. So, you know, hopefully we got faith that everything is going to work out, that he's going to do well with this pump, and that it's going to normalize his um, blood sugar reading. So, family, we are leaving out the doctor's office. Like I said, we got uh, our other son. He got a doctor's appointment later on the day after he get off work. So, family, you know, today, whole lot of running today, you know, a lot of doctor's appointment, but... That's what we do. So, family, um, thank you for coming along with us on Malik's um, diabetes appointment. Hopefully, you know, you learned a little more insight about Malik and his diabetes. And um, if you have any questions, leave any questions down in a um, box down there in the comment section. And um, we'll be happy to answer the questions for you. So, family, to the next vlog, we love you. Take care. And it ain't got hot out here. See you soon, family. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. And they're hugging. Goodbye, family. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, family. Bye. Hey, family. Day two. Part two. You know, part two. You know, we have the um, sign with us. We want to hit the appointment. So, part two, family. Part two. And it didn't definitely. Um, Heat it up from earlier. We always busy from work to being parents. <laughs> right? No, that is correct, baby. You said it. Mm. Oh, hot. So, headed to, like I said, part two. two. Yeah, too. For um, Sean's appointment. Yes, yeah, Sean. So, so we're going now, family. It was hot. They could have had some air in this elevator. Change his doctor, him and Malik had the same doctor, but uh, his doctor, you know, uh, she's something special, something special. I don't mean that in a good way either. Some, some special. I'll tell you what, you know, put like this. She does not dress like a uh, doctor should. She dresses like, mm, excuse me when I'm for saying this, but like she should be on a pole. That's how she dresses. Am I correct? <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I come got, on. Yeah, I got a new, I got a new with the wife there. She, yeah, she does, and um, it's um, it has been inappropriate at, mm -hmm. at times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, See. It must be her thing. Now that we. <laughs> <laughs> it must be her thing. Yeah, she definitely. 
Let me see if I can get a glass of her when she come in so y'all can see what I mean. So you won't think me a husband exaggerating. But, um, yeah, it's about time that Sean came here for the wellness checkup, you know. Um, make sure he's doing all right. So, family, when we get back there in the back, um, I'll try to turn the camera back on. If not, I'll turn the camera back on when we're leaving. I'll let you know how the, um, how his visit went. Okay, family? Okay. And obviously, she'll look over everything, but. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go over to this diabetes thing. Okay. It was called yesterday, remember? And the label's like, um, yeah, they computer. Mm -hmm. is really mm -hmm. just. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't hear very good things. Mm -hmm. Maybe their their doctors are good. I don't know, but for like the telephone, mm -hmm. you know that kind of stuff. I hear that a lot. Mm -hmm. And now, like if you go in for appointments, sometimes I hear they do them like over a computer. Yes, you um that that messed us up. We went the first time we went in there, and so we waiting for the doctor to come in. You know, the doctor comes on on a big screen. I said, ain't that something? Yeah, right. yeah for the comfort of home, it's a library. Yeah. Time, a nice uh, cave machine. Uh, she know, had, she I had, mean, um, yeah, what's mean, that drink, that coffee? Yeah, I said, it's Starbucks a cave, and everything. It's a cave machine, you know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's comfortable building. Yeah, you know. Uh -huh. that's, just, that's living a life, isn't it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just kick my feet up. Let <laughs> me tell you what's wrong here. Yeah, yeah. Wow. All right, let me send her in. Oh, wait, medications. Is he... Okay, family, you know, we've been waiting for some results um, for that Sean had blood work done about, what, about two weeks ago? Yeah. And the doctor's supposed to call us to get the results. We just found out that he's a diabetic. Nobody called us and told us that he's a diabetic. Yeah, I think we're going to um, call and complain about that. I think so, too. Yeah, so they'll be receiving a prompt phone call from us tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yeah, so that, that's not some information. I, as I was explaining to the nurse here, I said, anything drastically could happen. Thank God it didn't. But, um, and then they're, 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 this diagnosis is sitting right there. And they didn't call us. Unread uh, until today. So um, I and my wife, we will be calling and addressing this issue. Mm -hmm. So they will be hearing from us. Uh, they're not going to like what they hear, but they're going to hear from us. You can guarantee that. They definitely gonna hear from us, so we just waiting for the doctor to come in and um, see what she gonna do now. You know, now that he um is a diabetic like Malik now, so you know we back family. Hey, Happy. how are you? That's what you gonna oh, be. Oh, look with. at you! Wow, you've been losing weight now. Good for you. <laughs> how are you today, honey? Okay. Okay. So obviously we we got another diabetic here, huh? Yeah. But I don't think we're in quite as bad a situation. Mm. You know, but uh, a lot of it's probably the weight that's probably mm -hmm. brought this on with him. Mm -hmm. But I think, boy, what we should do is get started on some medication. But I would like him to probably go get to an endocrinologist to mm -hmm. start treatment. Okay. Now, who are, who are you seeing? He sees um, Dr. Lori Young. Oh, uh, I don't think she, she'll see him. Right. Because of his age. Right. Yeah. She's really good, though. Yeah, but I don't think she'll see him. So we'll have to send to adult mm -hmm. um, endocrinology. Okay. So um, I like Dr. Gunderbalu. He's very, very nice. Okay. Okay. Um, so we'll send it. But we will start just an oral medication, metformin. Okay. okay. I remember metformin. Yeah. Yeah. And it, he'll just take it once a day. Okay. Okay. Um, and then uh, get a glucometer and test strips and all that kind of okay. stuff. Okay. 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 So... To start, I don't know that we need to start checking him every day. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could go like every other day in the beginning to see where we're at. Okay. Okay, so at least we've got some readings when you go into the endocrinologist. You've got an idea. Mm -hmm. He's got an idea of where things are at. Maybe if you can interest for the feet. Okay. They're all pretty close to, yeah, they're yeah, all yeah, pretty yeah, close yeah, on yeah, the yeah, area. Okay. And mm -hmm. then this one, this last one, 
is for the diabetic edu education, which is amazing. I mean, they're going to teach him. You guys will probably be there with him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you guys everything, too, because there's so many things to learn. Um, so just call them and make an appointment. And then we sent in um, some meds to the pharmacy. All okay. here. Okay. We sent in metformin. Okay. Did she say an antibiotic? No. 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 Okay. So no. it just must have been the metformin. Mm -hmm. So there's metformin there. That will be for the diabetes. And then there is a glucometer, mm -hmm. test strips, and lancets for him to check the sugars. Okay. 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 So they'll give you whatever his insurance covers at the pharmacy. Okay. Yeah. And then there's refills on it. Okay. Okay. Yep. Sorry, you guys didn't hear that. That's. I'm glad that you know that he came to I'm see you guys. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Does she want to see him in three months? Follow with Indo. Okay. Now. but if you need to come back, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, family. We leaving. Um. We got a lot of people. All right. Um. Oh. Oh, please. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Okay, friend. We are finally leaving on the doctor's office. As you probably heard, you know, uh, Sean is now a diabetic now, too, you know. So, we got, you know, you got two boys who are diabetics now, you know, and, um, we had did his blood work, you know, weeks ago, and uh, I have been calling for his test results, and couldn't get them, and um, the doctor tells us um, this primary, she the one who gave us the results. So, right now, extremely, extremely upset because, you know, we should have been had those results. But uh, like Hudson was saying, when we was inside the doctor's office, we definitely gonna get to the bottom of this and why we didn't get the, um, get the results, you know, when we supposed to have them. He had that blood work done two weeks ago, and we just now getting results. We find out that he a diabetic. So, we'll be, you know, handling that tomorrow. Absolutely. Yeah, husband, what you say, bud? Absolutely, we'll be on it. <laughs> he said, absolutely, we'll be on it. So, this ends our day of uh, doctor's appointment. Today was very interesting, all the way around, all the way around. So tomorrow, you know, we have to take Malik. We got training tomorrow. Uh, Malik is gonna start, you know, his um pump, his Dexcom um, diabetes pump. So we got training tomorrow. So we gotta get home, get rested. And um, I haven't ate nothing. Me and husband haven't ate nothing. So family, thank you for coming along with us all day today. We love you. We love you, love you, love you. To the next vlog, family. Bye-bye.